<laughs> oh, hi again. Yeah, well, we didn't see you there. We were just talking about our favorite top five games here on James Games Corner. It's not Crash Bandicoot. It's not Crash <laughs> Bandicoot. I, I am here with, uh, as I would put my oldest friend, and not literally because he's an old man, but I've known my friend here, Andrew Geller, since kindergarten. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I realize I don't have an exact answer for his top five games. Neither do I. Uh, <laughs> we did talk earlier today at lunch when we were talking about how I, what I thought were his top five games. Mm-hmm. But let's see if I was actually right on any of those. So, take it away. All right. So, we're going to start with some honorable mentions. Some okay, ups. that's fine. Um, first would be Forza Horizon. Okay. I love a good racing game. Mm-hmm. But I love a good racing game that doesn't take itself too seriously. Okay. So that's Forza Horizon. You get the, you get the authentic cars. With the you Forza. can tune them up. But then you can like drive through fields and bust through fences and, just and race trains. Yeah, it's, okay, it's fun. Okay. Honorable mention number two. Got a long. He had a list. I got, I got a list. I'll be upset if he moves some of my guesses to the honorable mentions. I'm not. I'm not okay. All right. I'm not well. looking. I'm not looking. I'm just making sure. There's a link to the past. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this could have been easily a top five. I knew that's the one you were easily. talking about. Um, I think it's. Probably the best SNES game. Yeah, I would I would say it's period. definitely up there. Um, you know what? My favorite game is a Super Nintendo game, so don't. Give and it's not as, it's not as good as this one. So I mean, that's first off. It's is it is it Andrew's game corner? It's James's <laughs> games <laughs> corners. Um, I I, I I will say uh, one thing. Uh, he is a huge Legend of Zelda fan. Spoilers. You probably have more Zelda memorabilia than anything else. I would say. As yeah. far as games go? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's right. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, damn it. I, I was assuming, because there's always two games for Zelda that people pick as their mm-hmm. favorite, and I guessed the wrong one. Mm-hmm. Damn it. So go on, go ahead, continue. So, um, other honorable mention, Animal Crossing for the GameCube. Hell yeah. The game's just great. <laughs> it's, I mean, mindless, fun. Julian still hasn't played it. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're not going to play that one, play any of the 3DS ones. Yeah. They're awesome. Uh, if you have a Switch, there's one coming out eventually. Yeah, 2019. It's going to be awesome. Um, I know the one on the GameCube it was great. You yeah. had the old Nintendo systems in there, so you could like play those in your house while you were like paying off your debt to that fucking loan shark. Prepared us better than real life ever. Yeah. <laughs> like, Man. schools didn't prepare us for that. Yeah, no. Animal Crossing. Yeah, it taught me I'm never going to be able to afford a house exactly. at a very young age. I'm going to have to pay some debt owner forever and then he'll be like hey i'll help you i'll cut you a better deal and then he's gonna make you pay more money for yep. it yeah it's real life yeah <laughs> it's home <laughs> honorable mention number four damn you have like a, a long list you're like a top 10 over it's here it's a long list. okay okay the last of us damn it that was another one i guessed yeah that the story of that game i mean it, it's basically a movie in game form i mean it, it was great you, you, sure. you, you feel for the character either way. Like, you love Joel, you hate Joel, you love Ellie, you hate Ellie. I, what if you hated both? Well, then you're just a terrible person. Exactly. <laughs> and sure, you can say it's just like basic waist high cover combat, but it did it really well. The crafting added a lot to the game, I think. The multiplayer was actually pretty fun. That uh, actually not, not many people played it. But I it was, was more it was interested in that than the yeah. actual game. It was, it was good. So now we're getting into the meat of it. Okay. The actual top five. Five, 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 five. <laughs> number five, Rise of Nations. Okay, yeah. That is that is one that I kind of yeah. pinned down, yeah. So it's a little bit of a hot take, so a lot of people would say Age of Empires. Mm-hmm. It's the better RTS game from that era. Probably. Well, they're wrong. Yeah, I agree. Because they were not part of the six-man <laughs> Rise of Nation game Yeah. that lasted... 12 years. Well, it was closer to 12 hours, actually, but yeah. Um, you want to you go into detail on that, or you would like me to? It's up to you. Yeah, no, so this was probably 10 years ago. We were just hanging out at a friend's house, and we all happened to have computers, and Rise of Nations, so we're like, all right, land party, let's do it. And we break up teams, 3v3, and... Chaos ensued. Chaos ensued. James over here is on the, the B team... As we'll say, it was him and two others. Yeah. Uh, really him and, like, one and a half others. Um, and y'all had, y'all had an elite squad. We had, we had a good squad. We, we planned it out. We were pretty good at the game. But James was really good at the game. 
I was very defiant. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was really good. And in the game, each uh, nation, if yeah. you will, so for those unique familiar, abilities. It's, it's, a, it's, as, it's similar to Age of Empires, mm-hmm. but you pick a nation, and it's similar where you just grow towns, castles, etc., etc. One thing I don't know, because I don't know if attrition damage is in Age of Empires, where Not that I know. if you go into an enemy's territory, your soldiers constantly take a little bit of damage per time. Uh, I'll let you continue from there because that's a key aspect. Yeah, so James over here was playing as the Russians and they ratchet that attrition up quite a bit. Yeah, I think they get like 100% attrition damage. Yeah, so it's quite a bit. He proceeds to wall off half of the map for me and my team. His team is just feeding him resources to build these castles, defense area. And just walled it off entirely. There's a little pocket here, a little pocket here of his teammates, mm-hmm. and then James. Yeah, and we just we can't break through. It's the 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 steel curtain of communism <laughs> just destroying us, and there's nothing we can do. Eventually, ten hours in, we dig a little hole up at the top of the map and like backdoor him. Even backdoor me, you backdoor my teammates. Yeah, backdoor the teammates, but then he didn't have and, the resources and anymore. Split me, <laughs> and and we we. The wall came down. Yeah, it was it was a good time because after like we literally started probably like we said like nine eight at mm-hmm. night. We finished like seven in the morning that mm-hmm. one game, um, and then installed it by like seven thirty. Yeah, I don't think we've ever played again no. a game. We've always talked about possibly getting the gang back together, but it's maybe the 20, 20 year anniversary. <laughs> yeah, that 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 they were like we're done. Nothing's gonna top yeah. that game. So that alone, because he had told me he's like one of the games that has a moment. Yeah. That is the reason he liked it. I was like, oh, it's Re- it's Rise of Nations because yeah, yeah. that game is special for that reason. <laughs> not the best game, but certainly the best moment. Oh, I'm never gonna forget that game. That was a, that's a it kind of hurts to think about that game. Mm-hmm. So number four, Arkham City. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's that's three people now on the yeah. show who have had Arkham City. That's yeah, a it is good game. a fantastic game. I mm-hmm. think the best comic book. Thing like movies, TV shows, media. Comic outside book of media. comics. Outside of, yeah. <laughs> I didn't read that many comics. Oh, yeah, it's the best comic book media since Batman the animated series. Okay, yeah, um, that's fair considering it uses a lot of the voice cast and everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, really, if you've watched this channel, you've heard a lot about this game. Mm-hmm. So we'll just leave it at Arkham City, the number four game of all time. <laughs> I like how you're saying a top ten list of all. Not even your favorite. Like, no, this is the best game of all time. Yeah, no. Like, screw it's everything else. Number three, Metal Gear Solid. What? No, sorry, go on. I was guessing something else. I was guessing game number two. Oh, okay. <laughs> number three, Metal Gear Solid 4. Okay. That's pretty funny because uh, by the time you're watching this last week's episode, Kyle, for his honorable mention, said that Metal Gear Solid 4 is probably going to be on his list. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. <laughs> go so it's, it, I think it's the best game in that series, and that series is one of the best series ever. Yeah. Um, it has fantastic stealth combat if you're into that. Or you could be like me and just be like, screw it. I'm going to take out a rocket launcher and just blow stuff up. Well, question is, is it usually immediately that? Or is it, I tried to stealth for three seconds. Oh, this failed. Now I'm blowing everything up. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what yeah. it, it like didn't punish you too much if you screwed it up. So mm-hmm. there's some stealth games like, oh, you're detected, you're dead. Mm-hmm. And just for it didn't do that. It, somehow Hideo Kojima tied up that story in a way that made sense. Got sense? Yeah, okay. There you go. Um, and for that, he deserves a, a lot of credit. Yeah, he um, almost deserves to not be fired. Well. <laughs> yeah. um, the, the microwave tunnel crawl, the fight on top of the submarine. Yeah. I mean, that, that game had it all. Also, it I, I always think of like the Metal Gear combat, like two Metal Gears fighting each other. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's the whole... Uh, the scene where you go back to Shadow Moses. Yeah. That game's... Yeah, I mean, it's a long-ass game, but it's got so much... It's... It's fan service in the best way. Yeah. It's like, hey, you, you like these things? Here you go. Have some more. Open your mouth. Some more. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it's... It, yeah. So, I, I kind of... I have an idea which number two and three are. Mm-hmm. So, I'll go ahead and let you go. But I will guess number two is a first-person shooter. Number three is a third-person action game. An action, I mean, like, action-adventure. Yes. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Yes. <laughs> Number two, Halo 2. Yeah, okay, that's, that's where I was going with the two earlier. I actually almost put Halo 3 up there. I was thinking you were just to fuck with me. <laughs> yeah, so I think I have more memories of Halo 3 
than I do of Halo 2. Especially with you and I, specifically. Yeah, especially with the two of us. It, there'd be plenty of times, like, after school, you'd come to my place, and we'd just play, like, shoddy snipes. Fun fact. Halo 3. Uh, Halo 3. I'm actually number seven in the world. Yep. Uh, Google it. <laughs> Google it. Yes. I would go over to his house after school, and we would get on, I would be on his guest account, because I didn't have an Xbox at the time, and we would just be on the, like, hey, uh, my guest is actually number three in the world at uh, Halo, or number seven in the world, just to let you know. Mm-hmm. And Google it. Google it. James Allen. Google it. Yeah. <laughs> MLG Pro, James Allen. But Halo 2, though. Halo 2. I think it's a better game. Yeah. I, I think the combat was tighter. It didn't have the um, abilities, the orbs, whatever they were. I mean, the bubble the, shield was cool. Items. items. Yeah. Uh, bubble shield was cool. It's not really Halo. It's Halo, to me, is you have a BR, I have a BR. Go. Who is going to outgun who? Mm-hmm. Like, BR start, Team Slayer, midship. It, I think the best multiplayer game of all time. That's a bold statement. But is it the wrong statement? I'm not going to say no. Julian approves of that statement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Halo um, 2. I, I, I figured Halo 2 was definitely yeah. on the list. So. I, Halo, I think... Halo 1 perfected console first-person controls. I think Halo 2... Built the, found, built the, the foundation found, yeah. for like online and, matchmaking mm-hmm. and like how an online game should work. And... I don't think we've gotten to that level since. I don't know. It's probably nostalgia, like, totally blurring my vision on that, but I don't even care. I do want to say, so we talked about you own a lot of Zelda merchandise. How many specific copies of Halo 2 do you now own? 17? Yeah. it's quite a few. He, you're like, oh, that... You're, you're, it's like, oh, it's a dollar, why exactly. not? <laughs> Just buy it up. I have a limited edition in my medicine cabinet. <laughs> Girlfriend hates it, but... Well, it's, it, what if you need it though? Yeah, you never know. What if it's just there? It's, now? It, and it's in the medicine cabinet. It's a cure all. Yeah, it's. Oh, Not feeling well. Halo, Halo two. Thank goodness, I'm, I'm cured. Yeah. Uh, and number one, the greatest game of all time, The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. Um, I almost put a link to the past there. I know too. I almost made a top five of just Zelda games. I figured that as well. Um, <laughs> But Ocarina of Time, is, it's just amazing. I remember being a child with then 64 just... It, how people talk about Skyrim being like this awe-inspiring, open, giant world. Five-year-old me felt that way about Ocarina yeah. of Time. Like, when you first go into the Hyrule field, it's like, holy shit, this is, <laughs> this is huge. I can go anywhere. I can do anything. When in reality, you kind of can't, but don't worry but about the, that. But at the time, that was everything. Like, yeah. There wasn't anything that did more. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the day and night cycle was just cool. It freaked you out because you didn't want to, like, be attacked in the field at night. Oh, mm-hmm. no. Um, hunting down those gold sculptures, going fishing, the yeah. boss battles, the dungeons, the weapons, all of it. Yeah. It's great. I, I Even the water temple, not that bad. It's not that bad when you're done. When you're a kid, bad. it's really hard. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's impossible. And I, I will say, I probably should have guessed that was your number one because mm-hmm. recently... A friend of ours was in Japan, and you made them buy the Japanese copy mm-hmm. um, <laughs> to bring back for you. And at that point, I was like, "It's probably Ocarina of Time," but yeah. he'll probably just say "Link to the Past" to screw with me. Yeah. Which, <laughs> which pro tip? If you have a friend going to Japan, buy your imported games through that. It was like what, like ten bucks, something like that. It was like four bucks. Yeah, that's insane. And on eBay, it's like eighty for a complete box copy, or yep. yeah, that's insane. Yep. Um, yeah, that's it's pro tip. Have friends go to Japan, buy your games through them. Send your friends to Japan to buy yeah. video games for you. Way cheaper. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ocarina of Time is definitely a game where I, I can say I definitely love that game too. I mean, it, it doesn't break the top like five or anything for me. And I've beaten it and I've really enjoyed it. I honestly, most of the time, I don't. I get distracted by side quests. That's why I don't really play Skyrim yeah. or games like that too well. Because I just wanted to catch the big fish at the bottom of the, uh, the fishing thing. Yeah. So yeah. I always heard like there's a legendary fish there. Yeah. I was like, I want to catch that fish. I got to do it. Um, stuff like that. And like it, it had a whole bunch of fun side quests in a giant open world. And I was like, yeah, I can go do Ganon whenever. Like he'll be yeah. there. Yeah. That is not going to wait. I'm going to go do this other stuff. The world's ending and the yeah. princess needs me by then. Yeah. I need, to, I need to go do these horse races. Like, gotta get my time down exactly like that that game yeah, I, I I can definitely say that's I like it more than Link to the Past I don't have the nostalgia for Link to the Past I can mm-hmm. do with Ocarina of Time um, I think Breath of the Wild is the first game in a while to kind of build upon what Ocarina of Time did like other games are kind of just kind of mimicking Ocarina of Time in a bit yeah I think Breath of the Wild is the first one to actually take a step up yeah and obviously there's something like I wish I had more dungeons and stuff like that yeah it to me, it captured the feel of mm-hmm. the old Zelda games. It just wasn't enough. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, it had some great side quests and the like open worldiness of it where random encounters would happen mm-hmm. it was great and really modernized the series. But it just, I mean, four dungeons. My thing is, can you imagine being a kid now in Breath of the Wild's your first Zelda game? That's probably that the is, same thing. Like, if that's that we your had. first game, just quit playing games. Exactly. It's, down, it's downhill from there. So. Like, that, that's probably the feeling that you got with Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Kids are nowadays going to get with Breath of the Wild. Yeah. And I'm like, that'd be nuts. Like, yeah. I would be like, I'd be so jaded on all other games. Like, this game only has this, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess that'll uh, take it from here. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell so you get notifications. Uh, comment below why you think that his games aren't the best. Well, you'd be wrong. At least not the best Super Nintendo games. Yeah. Um, and then don't forget to uh, share the further video. And yeah, we'll see you next time.